All right, let's go. Johnny Depp on the stand again, looking dapper, looking sharp. You love to see it. Sir, just a reminder, you're still under oath, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you, sir. And please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Good morning, morning. Mr. Depp. Good morning. I love him. Um, we <laughs> He's heard awesome. A lot about some statements that Mr. Waldman made. Do you remember that? Yes. And Mr. Waldman is your attorney or was your attorney? Yes. Could we please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1245? And this is already in evidence, so permission to please yes. publish. If we could scroll down to the second page. Mr. Depp, do you see the statement here attributed to Mr. Waldman? Yes, I do. When's the first time that you saw this statement? Um. Oof. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's already laughing at Rotten Born. You love to see it. He cracks me up. I actually enjoyed watching him testify in person um because the way that he talks is like super it, it's a boring proceeding you know sitting there in those uncomfortable pews in the gallery there's no butt cushions or anything i had to bring in my jacket and use that and you know it gets to the point especially when you're watching video depositions where you're almost starting to fall asleep you know and for Johnny, when he testified the first time, he started talking about his family history of abuse. And it's just the way that he, like, talks. I think sort of the way he tells stories is very unique. And it keeps you, um, like, engaged. Like, you want to hear the story, you know? The way he tells a story. Like, you can imagine yourself um, hanging out with this guy just sitting on a back porch, like, shooting the shit. You know, even though he's a, a big time um, Hollywood actor with millions of dollars, he is not um, like he's down. He's very down to earth appearing. We can put the exhibit back up. Thank you, Mr. Depp. When and is he the was first time everybody you laugh. saw this statement by Mr. Waldman? Um, the first time that I uh, ever saw this statement. Uh, was in August. Um, it was when the piece was the 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 um, when she August twenty twenty when I was countersued by Miss Heard. This is the first time that I saw any of these uh, statements. Can we please pull up defendants defendants exhibit twelve forty six? And this is also already in evidence. Right. Thank you. We could scroll down to the second page or the th third, perhaps. Thank you. Mr. Depp, do you see this statement that's attributed to Mr. Waldman here? I do. And when is the first time that you saw these statements? Uh, same, uh, when, the, when the countersuit uh, was filed. Oof. And could we please go to Defense Exhibit 1247? And again, this is already in evidence. And if we could scroll down, please. Thank you. Oh, she's looking so Mr. smug Depp, today. The statement attributed to Mr. Waldman. I do indeed, yes. And when's the first time that you saw this statement? The, 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 this, this is the same. It's uh, the uh, uh, counterclaim to August 2020. After you saw these statements for the first time, did you form an understanding as to where they appeared? I didn't, uh, as to where they had appeared, the statements. In what, in what publication? Um, no, off the bat, I, I didn't know exactly. Um, it, it just seemed like a lot of word salad to me. Uh, <laughs> I, 
that I didn't know where they'd come from or, I mean, where they ended up or. Hmm. Mr. Depp, do you recall Ms. Hurd testifying that she, you did not assist her in getting her role in Aquaman? Uh, yes, I do, yes. And what is your response to that? Um, um, it's not, it's not, um, it's not exactly true. Do you know when Ms. Hurd first auditioned for Aquaman? Strangely, I know the date, and I really, well, no, I, yes, I do know the date, um, because um, uh, I was scheduled uh, with um, my band, the, uh, the, the, the Hollywood Vampires. Uh, we had done two shows at the Roxy, which is a place in Los Angeles, to um, rehearse for a, uh, we were invited to play at the Rock and Reel um, concert, which is a huge rock and roll festival. So we did the two shows to go to Rio and play there. Um, Miss Herb, uh, I wanted to, wanted to uh, come with me, and uh, uh, Whitney, her sister, had come as well. Um, while we were there in Rio, we were rehearsing and getting ready for the show. Uh, Miss Hurd informed me that she would have to be going, she would have to get back to Los Angeles for an audition, meaning um, it's basically after our two hour show or whatever, we had to, we would have to get on the plane immediately to make it back to Los Angeles um, for this audition. And um, that audition was, uh, uh, at Warner Brothers, it was uh, whatever film it was. And when were you performing at the Rock in Rio? Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, that was the, tw I believe it was the 24th of September. In what year? Uh, that was 15. What do you understand happened after Miss Heard auditioned for Aquaman? Um... <clears throat> After, after Ms. Hurd's uh, audition, or possibly auditions, uh, for Warner Brothers and uh, the, the, I suppose the creative team, um, Ms. Hurd ex expressed to me that the film was going to be, Warner Brothers had said that the film was going to be shooting in Australia. And Australia was a, for Ms. Hurd, that was a potential problem which Jackson your honor we approach okay <laughs> oh rotten born I can't wait to see I can't wait for the cross-examination because last time it was it was epic um he just kept like making jokes with him and stuff. I I thought it was so funny and you could tell Rottenborn was just sneeding. He was seething and sneeding and reeing internally. <laughs> you could tell he was getting frustrated. I thought it was pretty great. You know, it it livened it up. <laughs> Everybody was laughing except the jury. They were pretty stoic. I was surprised because there were some, at some points, he had the entire gallery cracking up and Amber, during one of the afternoon breaks, was complaining about that to her lawyers because that reflects on the jury, right? They're able to see the entire freaking courtroom laughing at his stories and the jokes he's making. And they're, so they're seeing that and that might be an endearing thing. Oh God, look at her, look at the faces she's making. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what she's saying, but I'm really bad at like lip reading. Dang it, I wish there was somebody that was good at lip reading who could give us some insight into what she's whispering to her attorneys and stuff. I don't know if this is true, but I saw the other day, somebody had zoomed in, I guess, and did some lip reading, and they thought they heard Dr. Spiegel telling Elaine that he would lie. 
Like that he was willing to lie for her or something like that. And I'm like, dang. Now this is unconfirmed, unconfirmed, you know. But if true, woo, woo lad. Um, it seems like Johnny's a little bit more, I don't want to say nervous today, um, but I, he appears to be sort of stuttering more, and I don't know why that is. Perhaps he feels, um, maybe less prepared today, or something like that. I just don't know. I don't remember him doing that um, I apologize, that Mr. Depp. Could you please time? continue? What happened after Miss Heard auditioned for Aquaman? Uh, shh. I was informed uh, by Miss Heard that the film was going to be um, shooting in Australia. And that, that was of um, concern to her. And because there, it was of concern um, to Warner Brothers. Um, so she asked if I would because I, I, I'd had a, I'd had a, a multi, um, for, for a few years I'd had a multi-film uh, deal with, with Warner Brothers, and uh, so we'd been in business together, so I knew these people, I'd been in, I'd been on films with them, so I, she asked me if I would speak to them, I made a phone call and I, I spoke to, uh, Objection hearsay, Your Honor. <laughs> even say anything yet I, I don't believe he said anything he, I think he was going to say who okay. he spoke to all right come he's, on he's overruled at this point um, they're just trying to interrupt him I spoke to three um, the three upper echelon um, Disney executive uh, excuse me Warner executives Kevin Sujihara Sue Kroll and uh, uh, Greg Silverstein um, and I told them that. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. All right, I'll just take an objection. On. Next question. Um, what was the result of you speaking with those individuals? Um, well, I, 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 um, I can only say that ultimately she did, she did get the job in the film. So hopefully, I, 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 I suppose I uh, had curbed their worries to some degree. Mr. Depp, do you recall Ms. Heard testifying that she saw you consume eight to 10 MDMA pills while you were at once, while you were in Australia in um, March of 2015? Yes, I do remember that. How many I also remember her saying that I took a handful. Objection of beyond the scope. Question. Sorry, I just, that was extra residue. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. How many times have you done MDMA in your life, Mr. Depp? Uh, actually, not many, not that many times. I would say in my lifetime, maybe in my lifetime, MDMA, six, seven, maybe. And how much... MDMA have you done on those occasions? Uh, not enough to, um, not enough to uh, properly, well, not, not, not enough to properly, properly experience the, what the um, chemicals are supposed to do to you. Have you ever consumed eight to 10 MDMA pills at once? No, ma'am. No, I have not. And why is that? Um, Dear God. Because I'd be dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty right. sure I'd be dead. Um, I think one would die. Yes. It, What's with these closed captions? My God, they're Probably bad. rather quickly. <laughs> Mr. Depp, I'd like to show you some pictures <laughs> from the home in Australia that Ms. Heard testified about. Sure. Could we please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1817, which is already in evidence? I mean, shit, the most I've taken is two or three at a time, and I don't remember shit. <laughs> I don't remember anything. Mr. Depp, do you recognize what's depicted in this photograph? Uh, yes, I do. That's the, um, that's the downstairs bar um, of 
the house we rented in Australia. And can you please show the jury where you were sitting when Miss Heard threw um, the two vodka bottles at you? Um, if I touch this thing, it'll make a yes, mark. Yes, it will. Okay. So this chair, that one uh, here, was over here. Um, and it was in pretty much when I was turned around toward the, there were on swivels. So when I was turned around towards the bar, I'm facing the bar. When I turned around this way, the chair, this chair here was in uh, pretty much exactly this same position as this chair. It, it was fake when I was facing um, <clears throat> Miss Heard, who was, let's say she was, if you're looking at the photograph, she would be about here. Could you uh, draw a line in the direction where Miss Heard was relative yeah. to where you were sitting? Yes, absolutely. So if I'm sitting here, um, <laughs> she was over here. Okay. Back here. I can see that, yeah. Approximately how far away from Miss Heard? Well, from you was misheard, if you can recall. I would say I, I would say it was probably 10, 12, 15 feet, maybe. Oh, of, God, that face again. 10 feet, 12 feet. And look at her. Approximately where was she your scared hand of him? when the vodka bottle hit him? She's smirking it was, um, at him. It was leaning. My arm was, sorry, my, my arm was leaning on the... Um, the marble bar um, right there where that imaginary seat is and uh, leaning uh, kind of just leaning back and and um, Oof. looking at Miss Heard she just walked away with the, the second bottle uh, I mean she, she walked this way when she threw the first bottle which is uh, actually visible can you please circle where the, the floor. first? Yeah. Could you please circle where the first bottle oh, is? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Yeah. All that okay. is the um, Damn. exploded first bottle. You can see that that, went past that, my, that glass <clears throat> exploded. Went past my head. Jesus. And the second bottle um, hit. She's a freaking monster. Right up here, where my hand was resting on the um, marble bar. Can we please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1820? Mr. Depp, do you recognize what's depicted in this photograph? This is behind that very bar. And what do you see on the floor in this picture? Um, I see what looks to me like a, a, a some kind of napkin. It looks uh, solid, soiled, blood, I don't know. And I see glass in the corner, blood obviously on the floor, and um, a towel leaning up on some cab, something. Do you know how that bloody tissue got on the floor? Um, I, my best guess, um, Jackson calls for speculation. Uh, sustained. Okay. Do, I'm, you, do you know how the blood got on the floor, Mr. Depp? I'm pretty, well, I know how the blood got on the floor. It came from my dripping finger. So that's why the tissue um, is, is uh, I'm 99.9% .9 sure since it is, uh, looks like he's got blood on it as well as what, what I um, held my finger, uh, held, held my finger uh, with. Mm -hmm. 
Oof. Do you see the wall to the on the left side of the photograph? I do. Was there a wall-mounted phone on that wall? On the left side of the photo? No, I didn't. Uh, no. Not that I recall, no. Uh, could we please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 394, which is already in evidence? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Depp, do you recognize this text message? I, uh, I do. And what, what is this message? Um, it's a, it's a, a text to Dr. Kipper. Um. Man, this is so sad. Just, I'm sorry, just reading constant through. insults, demeaning, belittling, most heartbreaking yeah, spew, is, um, released from a malicious, is, evil, vindictive, uh, see the, you next to, Tuesday. To, uh, Dr. Kipper, who, Hurtful, who then her venomous, to be in town, and degrading, endless, um, quote-unquote, educational ranting that, is her uh, hideous and purposeful, oh, come it. on. And, um, that, oh, God. I just lost a finger, a fingertip. How long after your Jeez. finger had been injured did horrifying. you send this text message, if you can recall? It's hard, it's hard to tell because when I look at the timestamp, it's, it's delivered 3-7-2015, 5 o'clock. Um, but I know that because of Australia time, it was the 8th, and it was probably, this was, the whole thing lasted probably until about 2 p.m. Um, or so. When, when that was when Kipper was called, Jerry was brought in. And Jerry Judge, sorry, excuse me. Aww. So do you have an estimate as to how long after your finger had actually been injured that you sent this message? I, I don't think it was very long. I think it was probably within the next, was it, no, I'm sure it was in the next half hour or so. Um, I would have had to sneak into a, a bathroom, and lock myself in to type this out. <clears throat> and how were you able to send this text message to Dr. Kipper in the state that you were in? Um, well, he, he wasn't available at the time, so um, just uh, sort of thumb your way through, don't you? How long after sending this text message did you see Dr. Kipper? Um, I, I don't recall that I think it, it took them probably 30 minutes or more, 30, 30 to 40 minutes to get there. And what did Dr. Kipper do when he first arrived at the home? Oh, the, the first thing he wanted to do is inspect uh, the damage of my finger um, and try and figure out exactly what had happened, how it happened. And what did you tell Dr. Kipper about how your finger had been injured? I, objection, Your Honor. Yeah, we oh, appreciate that. We've right. discussed That's this fine. several times. Let's go. Ridiculous. Good God. Hey. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Oof. Dear God, why? Why must you take so long? Mm -hmm. Come on. 
on, come on. Let's go. By um, about an alleged incident of abuse on your honeymoon. Do you remember that? I remember her testifying to that, yes. And when did you and Miss Hurd go on your honeymoon together? I believe it, 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 it was somewhere in the neighborhood of August. Mm -hmm. um, because I, ju I just finished the film. Maybe end of July, um, August. I, I'm not quite good on the exact date. Do you recall the year? It was 2015, I believe. And where did you and Miss Heard go on your honeymoon? Um, Jeez. We we um, took the uh, the Orient Express um, from Bangkok, Thailand to Singapore. And what happened while you and Miss Heard were together on the Orient Express? Um, there, there, there were there were times when it was very agreeable, very nice, and then there were times when um, something some, something had become dissatisfactory for her, and <laughs> she would uh, start the. The um, rant, the, the blooming of the of a fight w would would be on deck there, and uh, and and uh, at one at one point it didn't. I mean, I don't remember it lasting long at all. I, I just remember that um, I I took a pretty good uh, shot to the. Um, Oh boy. To the face, to the eye, to the We saw pictures here. from their honeymoon. So I had a bit of a shiner. She um, did not have any marks but it, on but, her. But the, we saw black and white pictures of her with no makeup on. Ended, and then everything got Looking fine again. We go to dinner, and it was all fine. Did Miss Hurd ever apologize to you for giving you the shiner? I don't, I don't recall. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 162, which is already in evidence? Mr. Depp, do you recognize this photograph? I do. It was with the, the yes, the, the, um, the chef and the maitre d' and the staff were asking if they could take a photo with us, and they'd been very kind at giving us a and classic see? dinner. Car. So where was this you can photograph see taken? The freaking that was in the black um, eye he has. Um, that looks like it's in, and she yes, looks drunk. It's towards the back of but the perfectly fine. Express. That's in the, uh, the, the the back train com bar compartment, and just out back you could smoke on the on the um, sort of caboose or whatever. And what if any injuries do you have in this photograph? I think the. Um, the eyes a little bit bugged out, if you will. And it's, yeah. How did that happen? Um, these things sad. could happen very quickly. If, if, if you disagreed. Objection, Your Honor, non-responsive. What? She just asked, how did that happen? I right. believe he was about to explain. Well, I'll state the objection. Okay. So, Mr. Depp, specifically, how did the injury in this photograph occur? Um, I'm sure it hit me. Is that better? Um, does this picture accurately reflect what you looked like on that date? I, I don't look at myself much, but it, it certainly looks like me with a black eye. Yeah. Does this picture appear to have been photograph uh, photoshopped in any way? No, I think no. I think it would be difficult to photograph or to uh, exactly start getting into sort of digital processing with 
a number of people in the shot, especially in a wide shot. Could we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1301? And this is a new one, Your Honor, so this is not in evidence. Okay, Mr. Depp, do you recognize what's reflected in this photograph? Uh, yes, this is the the staff. Uh, it's the manager and uh, his staff at the, um, um, the Raffles Hotel in Singapore. Um, and before we left, they, uh, they asked if they could take a photograph with us. And when was this photograph taken? Um, well, that would have been, we were off the Orient Express. We stayed in Raffles, I believe, a couple of, a couple of days, few days. And then from there, we flew to San Francisco. So this photograph was taken after the photograph we just looked at? Th that this photograph was taken after the photograph in the dining car of the train, yes. Uh, Your Honor, I move uh, Plaintiff's Exhibit 1301 into evidence. Sorry, any objection? Oh, happy honeymoon. Okay. So it's any, 31st of October. Any, any objection? No objection, Your Honor. All right, 1301 is in evidence can be published to the jury. Mr. Depp, what, if any, injuries do you see on your face in this photograph? I see pretty much the same. I, I, I see that the, the area in here has been, uh, well, is, is uh, swollen and, uh, um, yeah, there's a bit of a shiner there. Thank you. We can take this down. Mr. Depp, do you recall Ms. Hurd testifying that she punched you um, in the staircase incident because she thought of Ms. Kate Moss in the stairs? Do, do I remember her saying that? Yes. Yes, I do. Three times. Yes, I do. Do you have any understanding as to what Ms. Hurd was referring to? I, yes, I do. And I, um, as, as Kate Moss, um, Kate testified, it was many, many years ago, um, and, and what, exactly what happened is what she said happened. I, uh, recall, I recall, um, Speaking with Ms. Heard about an, uh, 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 that in, that very incident, um, because of the down, uh, downpouring of rain, because it was raining very heavily that day, that Kate slipped, uh, and I recalled the story to her. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. Uh, may we approach Your Honor? Okay. Oh boy. This is insane, guys. She gave him a black eye on their fucking honeymoon. That's crazy. I mean, that's just nuts. And she's sitting there today laughing, smirking. Does she look like somebody that has been, uh, that is like living in fear of this man? <laughs> Please continue, Mr. Depp. What did you tell but Ms. Hurd about? But he won't look at her. The staircase, or Kate Moss. I'll, I'll, I'll make it easy for Mr. Uh, Rotten Bourne. Um, Ms. Hurd uh, took the story and turned it into a very ugly incident all in her mind. Um, there was never a moment where I pushed Kate down any set of stairs, yet she's spewed this three times before, 
Objection, Your Honor. Ms. Hurd simply testified that she had heard a rumor, and that's well, it's not a rumor. responsive to the question. Sure. Sir, hold on. Sorry. Objection. I'll overrule the objection. Misstates the facts and evidence. I'll overrule the objection. Sorry, I'm, I was drawn by Mr. Rottenborn's um, voice. Certainly. What, what was you looking for? Um, so what, what specifically had you actually told Ms. Hurd about the incident with Ms. Moss and the stairs? Very simply that she had, we were in Jamaica. Um, I had left our bungalow um, about three minutes prior to her. I was standing outside and suddenly rain starts just coming down like it's, you know, uh, uh, monsoon and then I remember looking and seeing Kate coming out the door and there were three little wooden stairs and she slipped her legs went up and she landed directly on her coccyx and her, and her lower back so and she was obviously physically in pain uh, and she was hurt she was crying so I ran over and grabbed her to make you know to make sure she was all right uh, um that's that's it that's the all that's all i ever but that's the whole story but then um Oof. the rumor of it that's sad. i'd never heard a rumor of that um before um miss heard uh grabbed hold of it <laughs> wow like that Mr. Depp, uh, we heard testimony from Ms. Hurd's sister, Whitney, during this trial. Do you remember that? Yes. And oh, she's doing the How would you describe your relationship with Whitney when you were in a relationship with her? Is she on drugs her? right now? I, 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 I liked Whitney very much. Um, initially, I mean, when I first met her, I liked her very much um, and grew to love Whitney. Um, very much. Um, because I, I always, it, it seemed, Whitney, Amber's sister, Whitney, seemed to always get the, the, the sort of dirty end of the stick. And um, I, I felt bad for her, for that, because it wasn't new. It had been there for, for life. And I mean, that was, that was, seemed pretty obvious. Aww. That's so I, I I took uh, I took to Whitney um, very very quickly very easily. Hmm. She was a, she was a very sweet kid. She was wonderful. What do you mean that Whitney got the dirty end of the stick? Uh oh. Um, it was kind of a strange combination of. Loving sister, trusted sister and friend, um, and then lackey. Oof. And uh, then, you know, either the punching bag or the dartboard, or the recipient of, uh, Damn. of some rather demeaning and ugly um, words. Oof. Or she would have wine thrown in her face. Oh my God. And who was the source of those demeaning words and the wine that you just referenced? Well, that would be Amber Heard, her sister. And how do you know that? Well, I witnessed quite a lot of it. Um, the wine in the face uh, was something that happened in New York, which uh, I think that even made it into the papers. I believe that even made it <laughs> into the papers. Face. It was in an elevator. How did you first learn about that incident? Miss Hurd told me. Oof. In detail. What else did you observe of um, Miss Hurd and her sister Whitney's interactions during your relationship with Miss Hurd? It was just constantly up and down, but I, you know, I could, I could sense, I could feel that Whitney 
was trying to please her sister, trying to be up to snuff, and um, it just seemed like she got shot down. Objection, Your time. Honor. This has gone beyond the scope of the question or that his oh. foundation for knowledge of that. Your Honor, I, I, I asked what he observed, you know, between them. And I think this is responsive to that. And his testimony as to what Whitney felt is... I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. Did you ever see Miss Heard physically attack Whitney? No, I've never seen any full-on blowouts, physical blowouts between them. Tons of verbal uh, blowouts. Should be on the scope. Overruled. Um, I've I've certainly seen Miss Heard grab Whitney. Um, um, Push her, push her around. Uh, there were a number, number. There were half a dozen times when uh, we, some of us, whoever, whoever was in the general vicinity, would have to leave. Um, this is at Orange when Whitney and Amber were living at Orange. Uh, Whitney and her boyfriend <coughs> at the time, Sean Krzyzewski, uh and uh, he. We actually, we had to leave the apartment and why, why wait in that? the car while they fought. And when you say fought, do you mean physical, physically or? Physical. And when you said Miss Heard would push Whitney around, do you mean that to physically push her or metaphorically? Both. Um, you heard Whitney testify that she lived in Penthouse 4 at the Eastern Columbia Building for a time, correct? That is correct, yes. Um, how did Whitney come to live in Penthouse 4? Um, my recollection, when Whitney first came to stay at the um, Eastern Columbia Building in Penthouse 4 was she and her boyfriend, Sean, had... Um, broken up and uh, she needed a place to go and so Amber asked if she could stay in penthouse four and I I've said well, of course she of course you know guys this is so sad how long did Whitney live in penthouse four um, it was well over a year on and off did you ever ask Whitney to move out of Penthouse 4? No, I did not, no. Why did Whitney ultimately move out of Penthouse 4? Objection, foundation. It, it's his apartment, Your Honor. He was living there. Oh, overruled. Um, Whitney moved out of Penthouse 4 long before the um, marriage. Mm. And it was due to a an argument that Ms. Hurd and Whitney Oof. had had, um, which had to do with um, Whitney working at the Art of Elysium with Jennifer Howell and those people. And stand uh, I were asked her to leave, get out. Where did Whitney live when she moved out of Penthouse 4? My understanding is she went to live with Jennifer Howell. Uh, Your Honor, oh. I know you um, anticipated having a motion at noon. Wow. I, it, it, you can keep going. That's okay. Fine. All right, I'm going to stop it here. I will pick up with the rest of this in the next video. But dang, guys. This is crazy because it sounds like everything she did, like that she's accusing him of everything she did. What do you all think?